Hi everyone, welcome to the Moat for Students video series. My name is Sue and I am so excited to be able to share with you everything that you need to know to get started using Moat as a student. We'll explore the many ways that your teachers may be creating and sharing Moat audio notes with you, as well as how you can create them yourself. In the description below, you'll see links to other videos in this series, and the rest of this video is gonna be just exploring how to install the extension. So if you've already done that or you don't need to do it, you can actually move on to the next video. If you're sticking around, then let's dive in on how to install the Moat extension. I'm gonna start off by saying that there are some schools and districts who do not let students install the Moat extension. And if that happens to you, you can just move right on to the next video. You will still be able to use Moat. It'll just look a little different for you. On my student sample page, I'm just gonna simply type in moat.com. The first page that opens up should be a page that says add to Chrome, as well as some of our Moat Minute videos right off of YouTube. If I click on the add to Chrome button, it will bring me to the Chrome Web Store right to the extension itself. You can click Add to Chrome. It will ask me if I'd like to install the extension. Click Add Extension, and that extension will appear up top. Now, this will not automatically pin itself. So as soon as I close out of this moat little uh, card right here, it's gonna hide. In order to see that again, I can just simply click on the extension puzzle piece. And if I'd like to always see moat, I can hit that pin button and it will appear right up top. Now, very important, if you are over the age of 18, you would say yes here. If you are under the age of 18, you would say no here. Where it says, what's the difference? You can click here and you can scroll through the different ways that students who are under 18 versus adults, or maybe students who are over 18, um, will be able to use Moat and what the different versions will look like. But for the sake of this sample, I'm gonna go ahead and click no, that I'm not and then I'm going to sign in using my school account right here. And there you have it. That is how you install the extension. The next video will cover commenting with Moat. 